Sam Smyers here. I'm an artist and music producer in Los Angeles, California. Today I want to talk about how to use a spectrum analyzer to improve your mix. Most of us are mixing at home. We're mixing in a bedroom or in another room at home, and we do not have perfect sound treatment in our home. So using a spectrum analyzer is essential to make sure that we are getting a balanced mix. We don't want to get what is called the smiley face curve, which we have a big dip in the middle and we lose a lot of that mid-range. What tends to happen is that we might put a lot of low end, put a lot of high end, but not really nail that mid-range. And so using a spectrum analyzer can really help us get a balanced mix and get that mid-range correct. The spectrum analyzer that we are going to use is called the Vox Ango Span. Here is the website for the Voxango Span. It's a free plugin. You can download it if you have a Mac or if you have a PC. So let me go ahead and load in the span into my session. I'm going to load it onto my master. What I'm going to do is compare two different tracks, and we'll take a look at the mixes in these two different tracks. When we're looking at our spectrum analyzer, what we want to see is a balanced mix. That means from the low end to the mid range to the high end, we want to see it relatively balanced across the whole frequency spectrum. Let me go ahead and play the first mix. So this is what the default settings look like. I'm gonna go ahead and hide these meters here by hitting hide meters and stats. I can change the colors. I'll leave it at the default. I can change some of the settings so I can change the block size and get more detail. I'll leave it. At the default, I can turn on the smoothing to get a little bit of a smoothing, so a little less detail. So I just smoothed these peaks a little bit. I can change the frequency range. It's set at 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is the human hearing range. If I wanna go lower, I can see that there's actually some low end beyond 20 hertz, so I probably just wanna add a low cut to this low end to make sure that nothing is going below this 20 hertz. I'll reset that. I can go above 20 kilohertz. We can see that it's just being cut off right at about 20 kilohertz. Let me reset that. I can change the low range and see some more of the floor. And then I can also increase the range toward the top. So slope will actually change how the slope of the metering is. So I can turn it all the way up to the right or all the way up to the left. I'm just gonna keep it at the default. I have it at real time average. I can switch it to max, average, real time max. I'll leave it at real time average. What I can also do is I can see the mid side frequencies. I went up to here, hit presets and if I select mid-side stereo, change this field display to just show the lines. Now I see this green line is going to be the mid frequencies and the side frequencies will be this red here. So if I'm looking at the side frequencies, I usually don't want a lot of low end in the sides. And we can see that I have some low end in the sides, so I'd probably want to use a mid-side EQ and roll off some of this low end in the sides. Let me go ahead and put it back to the default. If I hit hold, now I can freeze the metering and take a look at all my frequencies in my mix. I can see it's pretty balanced. I have a little bit of a dip around 160 hertz. So I'd probably wanna look into my mix and see why there is a dip there. But overall, I would say it's pretty balanced. Let me go ahead and check out another mix. Now I'm going to hit hold and I'm going to take a look at this mix. I see that this is pretty balanced as well. I have a little bit of a dip in here, so I'm getting a little bit of that smiley face curve. Let me turn the hold off and listen to it again. So I'd probably want to look into what instruments could use a boost in this mid range here. It looks like the low end is really balanced and I've got some good balance in the high end as well. Let me check the mid side. 
I will turn it to the midsize stereo. Hit hold. And it looks like my midside looks pretty good. I have not that much low end in the sides. And so it doesn't look like I really need to roll off any low end in the sides of this track. Let me go ahead and turn the preset back to default. What I can also do with this Vox Ango span is I can hold down command and click and hold. And then I can sweep through all the frequencies of my track. So I can see where that kick is hitting, where the bass is hitting, where the vocals are hitting. And I can also widen or narrow this band by scrolling up or down with my mouse. So here I'm scrolling up and I'm making it wider. And now I'm scrolling down and I'm narrowing that band. Some other features of this plugin are that I can change the user interface colors. So I can change it to blue. I could change it to red. I'll just leave that gray for now. So after going through both of these mixes, I would say that they're both pretty balanced. I didn't see any real issues in the low end or any issues really in the high end. I saw some dips in the mid range of both of these tracks. So I'd probably want to go through my mixes and see where I could probably add a little bit of a mid range boost to some of these instruments. The Voxango Span is a free plugin, so you can download it and use it to analyze your mixes. Check your low end, make sure that it's not too loud. Check your mid range, make sure that there's no dips in your mid range, and then also check your high end to make sure that that is nice and balanced. So there you have it. That is how you use a spectrum analyzer to improve your mixes. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.